miracle, a remarkable event or development that brings welcome consequences. Well, it has been raining and dams supplying the city at almost 50% or more capacity. Lord knows we need a miracle. We got 99 problems, but Zuma ain't one. Welcome to It's A Wrap, your weekly current affairs show serving tea with some sumptuous satire. Africa's supposed miracle workers, you know those evangelists with television programs? Well, three of them had Namibians in their visions recently. He came on and he said something that is very important. He said, he is the one that is killing them every day and sucking their blood. And he told me the river where he resides. And he took me the relation and I saw the palace where he stays. With all the workers that is working for him. And the next assignment that he told me is that he wanted to cause train accidents and many people, many people will be shed. That in Arabia is going to cause train accidents. And I said, when? Well, he said, very soon. Give me the date. He refused to give the date. But he said, very, very soon, going to cause train accidents that will suck many blood. Remember that, though. And then the oil flogging bushiri from Malawi bust through with a... Namibia, I pray for you. I pray for peace and stability. I pray that the bill and all the bills in the parliament goes well. I say group rising in Namibia, which will say we don't want the president move out of power. But because we have prayed, we are praying for the same grace. We pray God's will to be done. We pray for God's deliverance in the land. We pray for protection in the land. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This guy though, hey, check this out. You see, there are some countries, two countries, which are seriously under a curse. Now, the curse is of God. The curse has befallen them from God because of the activities and their re the rejection of God, how they have rejected God. What? The Lord knows we need a miracle. And the people said... Natangwe Johannes posted, Bushiri got people here working for him. This man is not for real, but for money. He's very rich, making money every day, protected by armed bodyguards while giving anointed water to his people for protection. Minamu Bethwell posted, What an insult this is. Can the government please condemn this type of exercise? Why would this con artist wave our flag like that? This is very disrespectful. I can't fathom what exactly is going on behind the scenes. Felix Amafelix wrote, Hell no Bushi, we ain't in need of your prayers. We got this. We're at peace. We're fine with our president, so don't come professing irrelevant lies here. No. The homie Joseph spoke to a local prophet about this. If we accept to the word of God of what he says through his prophet, we are accepting, we are automatically accepting the word of what Jesus is telling us. Because his microphone and cell phone and telephone is not a human being or my cell phone, but a human being. He used a human being to communicate to a human being. As he did it before and will continue to do today. Because the God of yesterday is the same today and forever. According to the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Let's sip on this here tea. We all thought Job was a miracle worker when he got a temporary court victory for those residents of Sevendalan that were forcefully evicted last week. I spoke to one of the affected members of the community to find out how they're getting on. I feel very bad because uh, like the, the statement which the uh, city police and the municipality say that our, our ghetto, it was an incomplete structure, which is not true. They were saying, no, there was no door, there was no window. Yes, there was no window, but the door, there was there. And how can I come in the incomplete structure with my bed, with my maze, with my all, all belongings in the incomplete structure? And if they are saying that our, our ghetto it was incomplete, un, 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 those three ghettos, those ones, they were also in the, in the line of destroying them. And they only stopped destroying those three because when they saw Job, he was here. And now, the judge, the, the, even the other, I feel bad about the judge because our lawyer, he was trying to, 
to, to give him the picture that can show that our, our, our ghetto, it was, the uncom it was the complete structure. He refused. We are not working. They took our, our ghettos. That's why we are here. If we could work, we could go and, and rent. Our houses, it was here. Even the neighbors, they are, they are here. And as you can see behind you, there is, oh, there's also some ghettos which, which is there. And all over those combustions, if they are saying that we are here for, for illegal, yes, we are all illegal. Even the other side, they are also they illegal. Now, how can they leave other side and they just remove us? We are trying to, to apply for the land, but they are saying they did not service the, the land. Okay, like what happened? They paid a lot of money for the lawyer to come and fight us poor people here. Instead of them using that money to service the land and give it, give it to the people, they are using it to pay for for lawyer to fight even poor people. They are treating us like animals. Like they say, we must move here before 28 of, of this month. Because even after, 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 after the court, the city police was here smiling, telling us, do you know that we are moving here after 20, 28 days, uh, 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 before 28? We did not answer them because for them, they are happy because they are working. They have money to afford to pay the, the, the rent and even to buy the, the houses. For us, we, can, we just feel bad. Maybe they might just come take us and put, it, put us where, where there is monkeys, monkey. Because since we cannot afford to... to, 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 to we don't have million, million to buy those houses. Foreigners, they have land here in our, in our own country because they have money. Us, we don't have money. They must let us now. At least if, if our structure was not complete, then we could un under understand. Not fighting, finding us sleeping in your, uh, in your house, which, which, which I call a home. And then the city police come and destroy it. Is what they were doing, it was tribalism. Because they could, if they could say, we are going to remove the whole ghettos, we could not call, 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 call job here. But since they were putting a line, as I told you, those three, three, three ghettos, they are saved because Joby was here. I did even call him to come and see what is happening. We did write a letter for, for appealing, because since we have nowhere to get to, to go. And even as we are here, if you look at the other side, we hang our blanket because the rain was raining. Every time the rain rain, our blanket is wet, our food is wet, and we are even sleeping with hunger because we used to cook on the fire. When the rain is there, there's no way you can, you can, you can, you can cook. And from the mouths of our future. I don't agree with eviction because a lot of people will be left homeless and not everyone can afford rent. Just leave the people to stay there because they are not bothering anybody. At least they have a shelter and don't depend so much on the government side. And yeah, there are also kids who live with their parents there and they are the next kids to take over the country. When it's time for vote, is the time they say that we are giving way, we are giving way, but no ways. They are just struggling. Since people are selling kapana, they want to destroy their things. People are struggling for themselves, but the government is just saying they cannot just see how people are suffering. The President delivered his State of the Nation address last week and had this to say on the contentious land issue in this clip produced by the homie Joseph Shafin. When approaching the land issue, we will not condone lawlessness. Settling on any land without permission is against the law and land grabbing will certainly not be tolerated. This includes those who erect illegal structures on unserviced land and then demand for municipal services. This can't happen because you went to settle on an area not settled. Last week, we spoke to Monica Nambelela, a social activist and member of the RDP, about the land issue. If our children could talk, they could narrate the story of the homeless. Namibians are living like refugees in their own country. It breaks my heart every time. This is a complex. There are about 100 flats. It breaks my, my heart every time to see a displaced child. 
and it's every month you cry with that family that can no longer afford to pay the rent. It, you know, there is a displaced child. A displaced child is affected at school because maybe the parents, the, the child was going somewhere to a nearby school and because of not being able to pay the, the month's rent, now the child is displaced, can't find, can't find a school, and what our, what our policy drafters do not know is that some of those kids, it could be contributing to street children, because once you are out of school for, and you can't find a placement for two weeks, it's enough of a reason to be wandering around in town, begging for a dollar. Miracles are desperately needed. Namibians are now divided on who should actually be beneficiaries of this genocide reparation money. The president recently announced that all Namibians should benefit. And the people said, Chiveta Main posted, the money belongs to affected communities, GRN, not for you and your long, sharp beak and nails. This is for the Ovahero and Namas to get and to decide what to do with the money, please, GRN. You got money from the South African government to pay out to the former Swati F members. Could you explain what happened to the money? Alzan van Weg says, in my opinion, it must all go to the Hereros and Namas. They were the ones who were so brutally killed. Why must we all benefit? I don't have money, but God knows it is wrong to rob people of their rights. We all like money, but this money should go to the Herero and Nama people. Even if it is a lot, they deserve it. Ayatollah Pedro posted, Why is so-called veterans' money not benefiting all Namibians? Now you want money that Namas and Hereros deserve to benefit even those who are not Namas and Hereros. And Monica said, The government is talking about the genocide money must benefit the whole of Namibia. I mean, if I was wronged and I must be compensated, that my sister cannot get my share. If G Germany is, compensate, is compensating the affected community, they should decide. Nothing should be done without consulting them. They decide which projects they want to initiate. It must be the, those projects must be they must be decided by the affected community. Government cannot just decide everybody is benefiting from it. Because when the veterans, those who, who sacrificed their lives, or those who, uh, who were involved in the liberation struggle, when they got their 50,000 plus their 200,000 uh, compensation money, I mean, why was the same spirit of sharing not why was it not why was it not the case why was why did that money not go to all the namibians so genocide money must go to the affected community we took to the streets to gauge public opinion with the issue of the reparation it would be fair to uh, give the money only to the people who were affected or who, who are actually affected i think that the people who get the money unter dieser Herrschaft auch gelitten haben und die viele ihr Leben gelassen haben und die nachkommen sollten dieses Geld haben. Und das nicht für alle, das ist wie man in Deutschland sagt, das Gießkannenprinzip, dann haben alle wenig und die, die es brauchen, genauso wenig. If money come in this country, it's not only for the Namas of, oder von uh, uh, Wambos or whatever, he must give every uh, kind of, of people what here is. It's uh, difficult to find out who really needs the money and so maybe it would be best to give it to those who were affected. Uh, uh, we don't even work along those tribal lines that uh, these projects are for uh, uh, the Nama speaking people only. These projects are for Oshirera speaking people only, or Shivampo, etc., etc. So I think if the money is given to government, then the government can best use it to develop the country in many areas. And Cecilia said. Yay! 
Nowadays, we are drinking coffee at work. Hmm. Our parents never drink coffee that, 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 those years. Because the Germans used to abuse them. And you know what? Maybe I don't understand English good. They are saying we have to, they have to share the money, everybody in the, in the country. When it was the Hereros and the Namas who fight for this country, who died for this country, Today they are saying they have to share the money with other people. What about the head who came here? You didn't see a Vapu head? You didn't see a Kavango head? You only saw a Nama head and the Herero head there. Now today they are the one to eat the money. That money belongs to the Namas and the Hereros. Let them buy their own land so they can live with their money, enjoy their death money. Nama, this government of us. Ne, ne, ne. The infamous Patrick Chris Paul Hangura of Hoops and Scoops fame recently posted a death hoax about my nigga get rich and the homie has been blowing up my phone since last week making sure that i let the nation know that he is well and truly alive but she said she got a future on the on, on the internet like especially on facebook uh, that uh, uh, yeah, the estimation that uh, they are get rich is die away uh, for, yeah, from that season, she, she was up to me that future. To, 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 to tell the future is true story what, yeah, what she talk about. From that time until almost three, four people, they are just, uh, they, they, they just calling like nobody. Calling, calling. From that almost three days, from till, till today, people are still confirmed. They say, is this true? Uh, that story we hear, uh, is, uh, are you die or no? Are you die? Then I say, ah, it's me I'm talking, it's my nigga, get rich. Just a Luma story. But, but for anyone, if you try to go to that page for that guy, uh, yeah, Patrick Chris, you find a lot, a lot of comments. Some people they say, get rid less in peace, uh, get rid less calm, uh, then, the, then the, that guy is, uh, is a response to the people as they are commenting, they say, is, is that for the guys then? It's rough out here, so rough. Lord knows we're going to need to pray to all our gods to see miracles occur in this country. How sad. We spoke to Erasi to find out just what's going on. I'm starving here in Namibia. I study for all those 12, 15 years, but still now I didn't get a job. What's the use of being in Namibia? So where do you want to go and what do you, what do you want to do there? Anyway, what I want to, what I want really is only job. Anyway, I can just go anywhere I want. Why do you think it's going to be better for you somewhere else? And uh, on another county, I think maybe it will be better for me. I don't know, really. I don't know, but I want to try everything. I can try anything. Why are you so here in Namibia? I tried, I tried here in Namibia, but I just say I didn't achieve anything. Mm -hmm. uh -uh, maybe I have to leave this Namibia. Maybe I wasn't, I wasn't born to be here. I'm 27, 28. No, my friend, I'm qualified. I got a diploma in construction industry, but when I go to a press, when I got a post today in the newspaper, then I apply. I don't know how it is. It, it end up like someone who is not qualified is the one who gets the, the post. Corruption in this country is too much. Even you can you can even feel sometimes I, I used to even to feel like they are dogs. Those guys who are rich, the parliamentarians, they are dog even fit fit better than what I fit. What we people fit me? The food the food they give to their dog supposed to come to us because here what we eat here the adult cannot even give a test to it but we are all namibians we are all namibian our father fought, fought for this rent but corruption 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 it's only those big, big people who have money let's see what's been on dudley's mind this week I don't know what kind of divine intervention will be required for us to start valuing our lives. The carnage on our roads this weekend claimed 10 lives and countless more were injured. What's it going to take, Namibia?
miracles abound and our own Julius Indongo burned Ricky Burns and brought home the title. Indongo is the only boxer in the country to have three world titles to his name. It was not that easy to, to be there on someone's backyard with a population of more than 13,000 standing for less than 20 because there are, there are also students that we also came and also some Namibian on the other side but plus minus I think we were almost around 30. Be all those, those are the only people that were behind me. This guy can now add the WBA super lightweight title to his IBF and IBO championship belts. We also spoke to his promoter Nestor Tobias on his ability to produce boxing prodigies time and time again. I'm just encouraging other boxers. Don't worry whether you're training or for Barbers, you're training or Shakati, you're training or Angwena, or Anyamun, Swakopmun. Don't be shy to contact me. Whether you were training me before or you were under our promotion, don't be shy to come back because we do it for the nation. This Navy vehicle spotted at various night spots in Luderitz and this romantic rendezvous have also been making their rounds on social media. What kind of looniness is this? The head of traffic law enforcement sent a request to all his heads in all 14 regions to see if they can identify the people sitting to the, next to the vehicle and the vehicle. Now the problem is we don't have the registration number Neither the private police number that is inscribed on top of the vehicle is not there in the visual. So our request is to whoever was responsible for taking the visual to come forward, tell us exactly where he or she took the visuals so that we can take appropriate steps. You know, abusing state property, sexually being dealt with by the Anti-Corruption Commission Act is covered under the Corruption Commission Act. So that vehicle is meant for official use. Unless the place where you have parked it is probably uh, maybe where you are accommodated. Maybe it's accommodation and it's a bar. There is an explanation that is acceptable to the nation. We cannot just take state vehicles and start to use them for our own you know, self-gratification. Be it drinking with them or being, you know, driving them to run our own businesses. That's totally unacceptable. And in other news, my new 4G Fritz box from Telecom is rubbish. They need a serious intervention. I've always been fascinated by stories of people who leave their home countries and go and make a life in another country. This week on The Shift, I met Morris, who makes crafts using beads. So my name is uh, Morris, David. Born in Namibia, grew up in Zimbabwe. Grew up with a Zimbabwe lady who was my mother. So as I grew up, I was kind of keeping asking myself, where do I come from and who is my dad? And um, well, I was told I'm from Namibia. So, you know, so in my arrival here, uh, was that um, I wanted to know where I come from. It was a very right rough and lucky rough. Yeah, because you know, sleeping for okay, fine. I, I, I have some sleepless nights, I'm making my stuff. What to eat? You know, so sometimes I have to offer people what I'm saying, what I produce, just for me to get some little money so that I can have some food. The people get down, they haven't realized that they have a talent in them. So, through hardship, what has nothing to do, and in spite of seeing somebody else and earning a living out of uh, handmade things. Give it a try because you see, you see somebody else is progressing, you know, is earning a living. Why people don't really much um, better into art? They don't take it as a, as a way of uh, sourcing income. They think it's desperate, you know. When one is doing this, one feels like it's desperate, you know. And how long does it take to make average one, like an average one piece? One piece for a couple of six hours. Okay. So in one day? Yeah. And would you buy the beads? Yeah, I buy the beads. We prepare the glass beads. Okay, yeah, yeah. Even if you put it outside, yeah, it's a lot. This guy is just standing on the water. Like a barb of tree, one can use it to 
to put on some jewelry. Right. And you find the bag fast here. You want to put eggs on it. See? And you find the bag of standing metal men, out of a straight metal. One can use it as a tray, as a cable holder. I must mention I'm very useless with my hands. Cool. We need more people like you. So what do you do? So you just tap this. Twice. Around the same. Yeah. Cool. Then we have two. And the other one. With that. The other one. Cool. And then you just put it the same way. As long as it's there. Which yes, way? Okay. And which way? Also on this one. Yeah, yeah, it. We have the three wires in front before the camp. So always the wire is there, so you go for anyone, two, three. Aha! Yes. This one. And just like that, it's a wrap! The homie Joseph travelled down south last week and got us three shoutouts from fans in the south. Jalep! It's a wrap! It's a wrap!